All right, the armadillo roll is used to help teach athletes how to maintain tension in their midline. This is a great regression for the hollow rock uh, because we're creating that movement and that instability that they need to fight against to stay stable and have very minimal flexion and extension through the hips. Basic setup, you will need a wall ball. You're gonna hold that between their thighs and their palms. Starting out for the lowest, easiest progression. Elbows are bent, they're gonna be pushing down on the ball with their palm as they're actively trying to pull the knees into the ball as well to crunch in. Now for safety reasons, we want the head and chin tightly tucked. That way as they roll back, the back of the head does not hit the ground. Chin tucked, this stays lifted. You're gonna roll back and then come back up. Always constantly staying crunched in here. A bad example, athletes will open up, roll back, and then close, open, roll up, and close. They're not keeping that tension in here, and they're allowing their hips to flex and extend. And we don't want that to happen. Stay crunched, and then back up. Now make this a little bit harder. We got a couple options. One, don't let the feet touch the ground. So after they roll back, they come back up, they found a balance point, and then they roll back, and then come back up. They could also make this harder by holding the ball away from them now they're activating their lats as well as they push down, roll back, come back up, stand the balance point to there. As they develop that familiarity with keeping that midline tight, then they can progress into the hollow rocks. Same idea, nice and tall. Maybe they can start with their hands behind them, rock back, and then back up, 